All right, YouTube, so we are back, of course, to talk about some Final Fantasy VII Remake. So what we have here today is the supposed file size for Final Fantasy VII Remake leaking. Xenosaga7 over on Twitter tweeted out the front and back cover art for the game. And if you zoom in on the image, you can see where the required space is. It has 100 gigabytes, and it should be 100 gigabytes minimum, according to the couple of physical PS4 games that I own. So obviously this is a polarizing topic right now because you have people that are excited about the file size. Big file size means lots and tons of content and things to do in the world. And then you have people that are upset because it's a really big file size for a damn game, especially a console game. But oddly enough, with the little bit of looking around I've done on Reddit, Twitter, and even some YouTube comment sections, I haven't really seen anybody questioning the legitimacy of this, which is obviously the first thing you should be doing. And I'm not necessarily saying that it isn't legit, but with any sort of leak, you should have the take this with a grain of salt speech. So obviously right now, we don't know if this is legit. It's just a picture some guy took. And it's, a, it's an image you could easily mock up in Photoshop. So that stuff out of the way, when we talk about the file size, it's not really a surprise. Like, we know that the game is two Blu-ray discs. Blu-ray discs hold 50 gigabytes, so it kind of makes sense that it'd be a minimum of 100 gigabytes of space. Plus, they almost always overestimate that for patches and updates, so there's a good chance that the actual file size could be around the 70 gigabytes that we heard about, like, last month, or it could be, like, 80 to 90 gigabytes, right? Factoring in the updates or day one patches, it might reach about 100. Again, people aren't even questioning this. They're just, like, taking it at face value and thinking that the game is going to be 100 gigabytes exactly. Like, no, like, just chill. Calm down a little bit. And it may not even be real. Also, when it comes to the file size itself and how much content is going to be in the game, we have no idea, right? For one, people are talking about uncompressed files. That's also a possibility. The game being full of cinematics and videos, which is what we've seen. Most of what we've seen, we've got a little bit of gameplay throughout some of the trailers. And if you take aside the floor demo gameplay that we have that's public, you take the Abzu boss fight away, most of what we've had has been just videos. We haven't had a whole lot of gameplay footage. And I think this game is going to be full of cinematics, which is probably where a lot of this file size is coming from. We've seen quite a few lengthy cinematics in just the trailers alone, so imagine how long they are in-game. People also want to use Red Dead Redemption 2 as a comparison, I understand it, I get it, it's like the only other game that required two Blu-ray discs, but that's a bad way of looking at it, because they are vastly different games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a massive open-world sandbox game that you pretty much live inside of, you can do just about anything, right? That's not the case with Final Fantasy VII Remake, obviously, it's not going to have that amount of content. And I've said in the past that I feel like the game is going to be somewhat linear. Obviously, to what degree, I have no idea. But we've kind of seen Cloud walking in what feels like corridors. He's always just walking forward. We never really see him deviating from the path. We know that the game has side questing, but that doesn't equal a massive explorable world, right? These are pretty much just go kill the monster quests. And yeah, the game does feature a mini-map and some sort of a map screen and like the pause menu or whatever. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a massive world to explore, right? Final Fantasy XIII is a perfect example, which is a game they've used as a comparison for the remake project. It featured both a minimap and actual maps, but as we all know, Final Fantasy XIII is a damn linear game. And if we want to keep using XIII as an example, since that's the game they want to compare remake to, most of that game's file size was dedicated to the cinematics, not the actual game. So for me personally, the file size is not an indication of the amount of content in the game, simply because we knew for one it was going to be over 50 gigabytes. We've known since E3 of last year that it was two Blu-ray discs. And from what I've heard, and this gets into a bit of the spoiler territory, it doesn't really ruin the game, it's just something that's from the data mining the leaks, is I've been told that we don't really go to new areas with Remake. I've heard that we just kind of retread the territory from the original game's Midgar segment. So if that's true, then we're not really going to other sectors and things that we were hoping we'd be able to. So if that's the case, then again, it's not a massive game. But again, I have no idea if that's legit either, that's just a comment that's been left on one of my videos before. But obviously, I want this to be a massive game. I want this game to be full of content. I don't think it's like, you know, a 10 or 15 hour game or whatever. I do think we're still going to get like 30, 40 hours, maybe even more than that. But I just don't think it's the game that people are expecting because of the file size. But anyways, my dudes, that's the video. That's my thoughts on the leaked file size. I don't know if it's legit, but it's not really a surprise if it is. Again, two Blu-ray discs. What are your thoughts on this, though? What do you think the game's actual file size is going to clock in at? Because I think 80 to 90 gigabytes is a good estimate. When it came to the leaked files we got a little while back, the demo was roughly around 10 gigabytes, and the supposed full game was around the 70 gigabyte range. But when people were actually playing the demo on their like jailbroken PS4s, the demo was actually more like 20 gigabytes, so like double the size, like 10 gigabytes more. So the fact that the game file was roughly 70, I think 80 to 90 is a good range. Either way, leave your thoughts some more in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. To the channel if you guys are new once they've more Final Fantasy 7 remake content, turn on my notifications, follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David, I'm a Discord, links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later guys.